Please don't suck. Alien Romulus, please don't suck. Alien Romulus, please don't suck. Yeah, here are the facts. This movie is directed by Fetty Alvarez. He directed the Evil Dead remake. I loved it. Nothing wrong with it. He directed Don't Breathe 1 and 2. I love it. Nothing wrong with him. Uh, cinematographer, done by Gallo Alvarez. Um, he did the Hansel and Gretel cinematography. How do we feel about the film? That's up to you. That's your opinion. But the cinematography was on point. So, yeah. Music com composed by Ben Walfish. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll put some of his stuff here. He's worked with Hans Zimmer in Blade Runner 20, 2025, 2079, whatever. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I liked his work. I, I haven't really experienced it, but yeah. Um, this trailer is dark. This trailer is violent. This trailer, I have no idea what's going on other than beautiful young people getting slaughtered by an ancient, mysterious, alien force. The people, these young people fucked around, traveled to a distant universe, a distant galaxy, and have awoken an alien. I, I don't know what the story is about. I just know that people are getting slaughtered. And that is what made the original alien so great. You, you don't know what's going on. The, the characters didn't know what was going on. Why is this happening? What, what did we do? And the alien doesn't give a fuck about understanding you. It doesn't give a fuck about empathy. It doesn't give a fuck about anything, your thoughts, anything. It just knows that it wants to kill you. It wants to eat you. It wants to impregnate you. And then it wants to continue on. That's, that's it. It's very, very primal forces. And I feel that Fetty, I hope I said his, his name right. Um, I feel that he understands that. And almost every one of his movies that he's done from Evil Dead up to this one, he understands the tone. He understands the language of that original film. And this film reminds me of the trailer for the original Alien movie. I love the actors and actresses in this movie. I, I know Kaylee Spaney. She's, she's everywhere right now. She seems to be doing her thing. I also like the other individual in this movie. I believe his name is David Johnson. I saw him in the HBO show Industry, and I loved him in that. He was, he was really great in that. So I, I'm, I'm glad to see him be seeing more of him and I'm really captivated captivated by both of those stars and i feel that aliens as a franchise has kind of distanced itself has been more of a joke of itself over the most recent films you know we've seen films where we're discussing and dissecting the nature and history of how the aliens were made i, I don't care about that that's that wasn't the point of aliens you're you're not supposed to know how they were created you're not supposed to know their motivations you're not supposed to know their inner workings. You're not supposed to know that androids like to talk to one another and, and diddle each other's flutes and stuff like that. You're not supposed to know any of that shit. All you're supposed to know is where the people who are trying to navigate in this universe, they're dumbasses for landing on a planet or landing on a spaceship and them encountering what, un unfortunately, they're going to encounter. Death. Okay, death because they were not supposed to be here. Death because... This is the part of the universe you don't explore. And this is supposed to be that, that wall that separates humanity from the rest of the universe. This is as far as you go. And if you try to bring that portion of the universe back home to you, it's just going to you know obliterate you. And that's always been the biggest fear. We don't want these aliens coming back home. We have to stop them here so that they do not annihilate our home there. And from the trailer, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's, what I'm going to encounter. But just the vibe, the energy of the film. I always have confidence that it's going to be something memorable. It's going to be something engaging. It's going to be something entertaining. Just the overall look of it already has me pulled in. And like I said before most of my videos, that's what trailers are supposed to do. You're not supposed to know the entire story <laughs> of a trailer like Sony likes to do. They just put the entire story in the trailer. And then you go to a movie and you you, you've already the best parts of the movie in the trailer you're supposed to go to a you're supposed to look at a trailer and get just a bare glimpse of what is the possibilities of this film where it's possibly going who are the main characters in the story and when you go to theater you're supposed to be surprised your expectations are supposed to be through the roof 
You know, you're not their, their expectations not supposed to be to the floor. And I feel a lot of trailers they 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 set you up for this like, oh wow, this is going to be great. And then you get to the theater like, this wasn't even in the movie or this the trailer was way off. I was expecting this, and I get to a movie, and it was, it was nothing like the thing. And I don't know if this is one of those movies that's going to be like that. I don't know, but I'm hoping that from the trailer it dovetails into the movie and it transitions and I'm able to get even more expectations, higher expectations, it, it exceed, break my expectations when I actually see the movie. Yeah. Um, if you like this trailer, I recommend you guys like this. Look at the trailer for yourself, make up your own opinions, but I'm already going to be there day one. So if you liked what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. That's all I got. Cabs out.